Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So today, we ended up summoning on the Legendary Heroes banner featuring Legendary Lilina on stream, and we got a pretty good haul, not necessarily what we were looking for, but it was quite the summoning session. I gotta say, lots of uh, technical difficulties and whatnot. The stream ended up becoming quite long. I think there's almost almost eight hours in total <laughs> so uh it's taken a bit of time to process but as soon as it's rendered through full hd quality i'll have to watch through the entire footage and timestamp stuff because uh, I, I don't think anyone myself included would want to watch all of that footage <laughs> and uh i've already looked at it at in 360p 480 i think it's just 360p right now it's very grainy so uh not very watchable so when i get that done it'll all be uploaded um to youtube and but in the meantime decided to make a video showcasing the clear i made of lona's legendary hero battle map um of course on abyssal difficulty and uh well this was all on stream so it was a bunch of failing but i uh, eventually figured it out quite the interesting mix-up this time around we're actually using res refine on nino's iris's tome so we can take three fewer points it, it's it was uh, kind of clutch on preserving hp it was mostly a game of how could we preserve our hp to take small hits later on and turns out this was the right combination. Instead of running defense refine, uh, running res refine, and we're running brazen attack defense, as you'll see why later. And legendary Zera running front loaded tactics. Tiki running attack defense bond and Ignis for some power. And Brave Veronica running speed tactic uh, on stream. It was uh, quite a fumble with trying to figure out why the AI was doing things <laughs> and why res tactic was uh, changing the AI movement. I I'm not going to talk about it here, but it's just the thing about padding shenanigans that I was too brain dead to think about on stream. And it turns out also inverting <laughs> speed and res tactic did something. Um, not very sure. <laughs> Not very sure what the heck happened, but uh, it all worked out, and that's what totally counts at the end, Kappa. But uh, yeah, it was quite the interesting battle. It's not a great map for us because of how reinforcements spawn from basically everywhere on the map. And so, there's also Legendary Lona being a mage cav tome unit. Uh, Tome cav unit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm definitely brain dead right now, but uh, with her uh, AoE special and her high attack stat, yeah, we're not gonna face tank a hit from her. So her threat range is definitely super dangerous. So there's a ton of AI manipulation all around this clear, especially this first turn. This particular setup isn't. The general idea is we need to fling some units to the right side using Brave Veronica and uh, some units other ways by putting Nino over it. It's, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to make an in-depth analysis of some of these clears because <laughs> quite something, I gotta say. But uh, we start off with a nice Lance Fighter. And we have this green mage here with dull range, so like usual, we have to BM by one round KOing <laughs> with uh, Blade Tome because 100% totally optimal, Kappa. Uh, of course, it's only because we have Dragon Fang here that we're able to pick up the kill. But uh, pretty hefty damage and enough to pick up the kill here. And now we're just going to repo Nino out because we're definitely not tanking <laughs> Lilna with Nino. Not today, maybe someday when we're actually memeing, we can do such things. But uh, it gets pretty cramped pretty quick and so it becomes an AI manipulation meme fest. 
because there is this axe fly with rally up attack and we're going to use that rally up and other shenanigans to <laughs> just make sure we can buy time and space because the main problem with what we do around here with the meme challenge where Legendary Azura and Brave Veronica both can't attack or get attacked. <laughs> um, yeah, things get a bit complicated on space, but it all works out for us here. And this is where Brazen Attack Defense comes into play because Nino has to tank a Sword Knight. So we're going to one round KO this Cleric with Desperation so we don't get hit by Panic, which is quite important. Now that we have Dragon Fang up, we also have massive kill power. So this Sword Knight's barely not going to kill us, thanks to Close Guard on Braze Veronica. And we absolutely overkill with Dragon Fang, but uh... We get the attack smoke off, and that lets us take zero damage from this blue mage, which is quite important. Um... The, the problem here is that we're not, not running Brazen Attack Res. So we do take non-negligible damage from the healers, which definitely is a problem. But now we're going to just slide a Brave Veronica down to allow Nino to attack the Sword Knight so we can just get some chip damage on him while we're here. And now we're just going to fling everyone this way. And of course we abuse the rally here to screw positioning of the units because otherwise Lilna may or may not have been able to get closer to us, but because she's exactly here, <laughs> we can okay. exploit that. And now we can take out the blue flyer with Nino. And then we can go ahead and dance and pick up this kill on the troubadour. Dragon Fang, absolute overkill. So now we're left for Tiki to hold her own against the Sword Cavalier, and luckily, Sword Cavalier is not that fast, so Adult Tiki can avoid the double. And that allows us to just face tank, which is fantastic, and it accelerates our Ignis, which is nice because uh, Legendary Lilin is kind of coming into town. The problem here for Legendary Lilna is that she's a little too slow. <laughs> yeah, so we can take out the Sword Cab with Nino here. Very pretty clean clear once figured it out, but it was uh, quite difficult cheesing the AI for sure. And uh, at this point, we can now take out Lilna with Tiki. Of course, Ignis is not necessary, but uh, we, we got a BM with the big four cooldown special. <laughs> And at this point, Nino can take out the blue mage, so Tiki doesn't get absolutely obliterated. <laughs> and it's just over, because Tiki can tank stuff. Did you call for me? There's the rally, and the Sword Knight is not going to be able to do enough damage to Tiki. Pick up the easy one round KO here, and at this point, it's all... that's all... that's it. It's just uh, this strange Brave Axe Flyer. And a Barrier Lance armor. So now we can go ahead and use our Accelerated Dragon Fang to pick up the kill on this particular refrigerator. And now we can just max buff Nino and just one shot the guy. And that is the clear. Pretty clean, I say so myself. But, uh,. Definitely quite a bit of AI manipulation. The healers were honestly the main problem besides the, the infantry mages and Lilina, just because we're trying to not get Legendary Zera and Brave Veronica attacked, and that's kind of it's definitely difficult for Brave Veronica with 19 res. He's kind of a magnet to get attacked, <laughs> uh, but we did manage to end up doing it. But uh, again, the stream VOD's still currently being processed for HD quality. It's uh, again, almost eight hours of footage. So uh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> but until then, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, 
and hope to see you all next time. Bye!